This is the Iron Trainer. It is Tuesday morning, so we are going to review crude oil here and natural gas. Now, remember, on crude oil, the API number will be out today at 4.30, and then the EIA report on crude will be out on Wednesday at 10.30. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell any stock, commodity ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have crude oil, your daily chart. Now, look how nice this pattern is. Been pointing out this nice rounded bottom, that series of higher lows, and look where we are. Look how nice this is. Eight day, beautiful. 21 day, beautiful. 50 day, beautiful. All bottom left, upper right. Now, we had right here so far from this bottoming candle that we had um, at the low of 80.55. Okay, very, very nice. And then we had here, this was last Friday's candle. You had a high of 83.21. You needed to close above this 83.12 and close at uh, 83.11. Okay, so just under, but you had a nice big green candle. You did not have no topping ta uh, tail like we had here. That tells you that you got to get long and stay long. And then we just keep right on running. Yesterday, a nice breakout, higher high. Today so far, a nice higher high. And let's see what our high is so far today is 85.46. Now, been pointing out this level here, all this key level here, 85.30. What do we have here? 85.59. Uh, uh, and this is what we're looking for, this 85.90. Okay, so that's going to be your next target level. So far, we had 85.46. So just look to the left of the chart here. I've been pointing this out to the left of the chart here since we're way back here. Okay, so all I got to do is review the videos and you will see that you want to just go here. So Okay, so we want just a little bit higher than this 8530, uh, and we have 8559, which is going to be next. And then you have your nice uh, level up there at 8590. Bring your price channel right across. Now, if we can keep right on rolling above that, then we go next level. You have uh, <clears throat> 8775 here. We have uh, 8833. We have 8857. Uh, 8954, and then this is what we're looking for, this 8985 level here. But if you watched my video yesterday, I said 85, that's where we're going to go. Boom, that's where we went here. You're going to overshoot a little bit here, but just look to the left of the chart. That's where we're going to be go going. Okay, so let's take a look here at the downside. <clears throat> Always want to look at the downside, just never know. So what we want to do is we want to look at yesterday's high okay so you right now real time you're sitting at 8510 so you want to look at 85 8449 that's what we're going to look at and then what we'll do is we'll come over here to today's low you're looking at uh, 8385 and then this is going to be the critical level right here okay these two levels right here okay so 8321 the high and the high on this here is 8312 so that's going to become very good support level so a lot of times what it does is it wants to retest you know, um, your price channel, okay, your top uh, of your candle here, okay, just like we did here, okay, so you ran right on up here, it came right back down here, you retested it, and then we are right back up again, okay, so again, if we lose that uh, 8312, we just follow the candles down here, you have uh, 8265 going on here, you have uh, 8248, but this is a key level right here, is your 8235, that's your Eight simple moving average. Very, very nice. Now, again, if that's lost here, we can come to the top of this candle. Okay, uh, you have 80.55 here. We have uh, a low here of 81.52. Uh, uh, this is what we're looking for then, 80.77. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so uh, we look at this. This was 81.74, excuse me, on that one. And then we looked at the bottom there uh, at 82.52. And then we have your uh, 80.77. Very, very good support levels here. And then, like I say, we have your 200-day above that, below that, your 50-day below that. But right now, very, very bullish, okay? Very, very bullish, like I've been pointing out here. Bullish, bullish, bullish. Now, now we've had a good, this is like a four-day run going on here. So <clears throat> all we looked at the past here. So we had one, two, three, four, five-day run. And then before, we had a little sell-off here. But again, even if you have a, a red candle here every so often, this can run up higher. Now, again... When we were back in this level here, I pointed out this top of this candle that's at 79.29. And then we had this box going here, okay? So you look at this, is 75.52. So you had that trading box that was going here, okay? Nice, good trading box. Then we took it up to another level here, another trading box, 
Okay, and then what we did is we went here another trading box for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight days. Another good trading box. Now we got to see here where we will go up here and make another trading box. See how nice these levels, this price channel here is just moving right up nicely here. So we have to go up here. Maybe you can go a little higher. We have to see, but where we can go sideways and make another trading box like we did here. Okay, so basically what you have is just a beautiful bullish chart. Okay, that's going to go higher. Now, RSI here, well, you're touching that 70 area. <clears throat> but again, that also shows us a lot of strength. Once you get over that 70 area, you can stay and hang in there. It shows us a lot of strength. It's not overbought as of yet. Okay, and then we have your MACD, your green over red. Boom, look how beautiful. This has plenty of room to run. Shows good, positive momentum. Very, very bullish chart. So today, what we want to watch is watch today's high. Okay, that's at 85.46. Okay, if it goes above that, this is the target we're looking for, 85.59, and then we're looking for 85.90. Okay, so those are going to be your upside targets. Obviously, if the goal, we can go all the way up to there. But let's just look at that for today. On the downside here, <clears throat> we want to watch basically this level here. Okay, so 83.21, 83.12. This is the level here if it sells off that we need to hold. And obviously, you want to hold this 8 SMA at 82.35. This is very, very crucial, but look how nice and bullish once you get above that eight uh, simple moving average, boom, rips right on up. Okay, let's take a look here on a uh, weekly and a monthly. Okay, monthly chart here. Looking very, very nice, okay? Now we're actually forming a nice W pattern. See, it comes down, up, down, up. Very, very nice. This is going to be your big target all the way up there, 95.03. Uh, yeah, 95.03, that's going to be your big target. But okay, look how nice we are. You're above your 8 SMA here. Okay, we're above the 21 SMA. Very, very nice. And we're just rolling up higher, nice green candles. Okay, so starting off the month very, very nicely. <clears throat> right here, look at here. Your green is trying to get above your red. <clears throat> Always very, very bullish. Once I can get above, then we have the same scenario as here, just like we have here. See that? Okay, very, very nice. Got to see if it can curl up or is it going to come on down like it did here. But looking very, very bullish. RSI, a lot of strength, looking very, very nice. Now, here, a weekly chart. Let's see here. Look how nice this weekly chart is doing. Okay, weekly chart, even though she sold down, held this key 200 simple moving average here. Look for how long. Okay, so even if you spike down, as long as you close back above it for the week, looking very, very good. Even this big-ass red candle held it. Very, very nice. Now, this eight-day, never crossed below that 200-day, curling right up here. Very, very nice. Okay, so this is taking it and pushing the price up. The eight days above your 21-day, above your 50-day, and now look at this 21-day, how it's curling up. Nice. Very, very nice. Now, <clears throat> this was the key right here was this 100 SMA. Now you're sitting at 82.85. So when this ran up, you can see where the candle went right into it and then pull right back. But last week's candle, look how it did. See, different kind of a candle went up there and finished at the high. So once we get above that, that 100 SMA, now that becomes key support. So we need to hold this here, 82.85 on a closing basis. That's what we're looking for. If not, you have the 8 SMA right below it here at, uh, what are we looking at? <clears throat> oh, yeah, 80.30. Okay, so we're looking very, very good. So now what we want to do so far for the week, we're here at, uh, at that 82.60. And then what we'll do our targets and do we just follow these right on up? Okay, so 85.30, we're a little bit above that. Then you already have a target up here at that 85.83. You have 88.29. And then this is the candle, that 89.85. That's what we're looking for. Again, if we can cruise back above that, we have 91.23 here. You have 91.88. Uh, 9243, and then there's your big retest at 9503. Oil's going higher, okay? Gasoline is going higher, okay? And eventually, natural gas is going to go higher, okay? Don't fight it, okay? Trade it, make money off it. Okay, let's take a look here at your net gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, okay, let me bigger up a little bit here. All right, what do we have? Just quick review. Uh, this was a contract roll, went right above, very, very nice. This was a contract roll, went right above, 
and hail came down a little bit, but you notice that here last Friday was like a turning point, okay? So you came down, you put in a lower low, uh, but you closed above that key, uh, eight uh, simple moving average, but you closed right below the 21 day. Now yesterday came down, retested the eight day, went above, and now look at a nice green candle, okay? Now, what was I pointing out right here? As these 50 days, when I say I don't like it, the reason I don't like it is when these 50 day, 100 day, when that comes rolling down, that provides big time resistance, okay? Just like we had here, okay? <clears throat> so when this rolls down, see this, how it goes right into it, right into it, right into it, until you close above. Now, last week there, we closed above the 8 SMA, which was very, very good. Now you can look at this week's candle so far. We are above that 1.715. Very, very nice. That's the turnaround here. Your RSI, your MACD here, it looked like it wants a cross back over. RSI, very, very strong. However, that being said, this is going to be extremely, extremely strong resistant level as those 50 days at the 50 day moves down. Now, I say if you can get it to curl up here, then that's a whole different story. Like we have here, it's flattening out very, very nice. But this is going to be your resistant level here. So if you're going to be trading this, just watch this 1.883. Very, very strong. Okay, so that's what we want to look at. So what we want to do here today is you want to look at the high and the low of the previous day. So yesterday we had a high of 1.853, a low of 1.706, and you closed at 1.843. Now, today so far, <clears throat> we had a high of 1.857, okay? So just a little bit higher than what we had yesterday at 1.853. So just a little bit higher but it sees this 50-day right there, and that's not a good thing, okay? So, again, today what we want to do is watch today's high. That's at 1.857, and then we want to watch this 1.88. That is going to be very, very crucial. Now, again, if you can break, break above and close above this 50 SMA here, then we can start looking at the top of these candles. Then you have 1.95, you have 1.98, and then this is your target right there at 2.0. Okay, very, very good. Now, downside, watch this 21 day. 1.762, very, very strong. Okay, and then watch that 8 SMA here at 1.73 right below it. But now you can see your 8 SMA here is starting to curl up here. Now, as it rolled over here, came down, flattened out, and now it's starting to curl up. Okay, very, very nice. So we've got to see how this is all going to shake out here. So right now, uh, natural gas real time is sitting at 1.817. So we can look at the top of Friday's candle at 1.786. That's what your first is going to be support level. And then this is going to be the crucial one, that 1.762. And then you 8 SMA right below that. Again, if that's lost, then we can here come to yesterday's low, 1.70. Friday's low at 1.686. And then we have this gap. Right there, 1.67, and obviously below that, 1.64, and then we have your retest at 1.58. But that being said, you got a good strong support here with the 21 day and the 8 day if it holds. Okay, so that's what we want to watch today on the downside is these two key levels. And then on the upside, we want to watch this key right there, 1.883. Now, <clears throat> as the day progresses and that the future is open tonight, this will keep right on coming down and it forces that price down until we can get a scenario like this where you can jump back above it and then you can be off to the races. However, 50 day is much stronger than an 8 SMA here. Always remember that. And a 200 day, stronger than that 50 day. Okay, so always watch that. Okay, so very, very key today. So what I'll be doing is looking for some scalps and we'll see how this is all going to shake out here. But again, watch that 21 day, that 8 day, and that 50 day to the old upside. All right, let's take a look at an hourly and a full hour. Okay, here we have your hourly. Now you can see here where you had a pretty nice gap and go. Okay, here's that contract roll situation. Came down, but we never filled this gap, okay, which I don't like. Okay, I always like to have those gaps uh, being filled. Now, this scenario here, if you look at this, 
Uh, and one day, a one hour chart is going to look a lot different than if it were like on a daily or, or a weekly or something like that. So you basically had a left shoulder there. We had a head and then we had a right shoulder and then she slammed right on up. And once you got above this level, she went right just rocketing up uh, nice and high. Now we have sideways action. Now we're kind of curling over. But what I don't like about this is here, so we, we had a high here, 1.85, 1.857. So you pretty much have a double top situation. So we got to watch this price channel right here, 1.80. If not, you can come right down to this 1.7 level here. Very, very easy. And then we can come all the way on down here. So we got to be very careful here with this. But this is the first tail here when you see these kind of a pattern set up here. Now, it's not really easy to see, but once you see that, then that tells you that you got it's going to rock it up nice. Okay, so here on your uh, four-hour chart, same thing. Okay, there's your left shoulder, there's your head, and there's your right shoulder, and then look at that big-ass green candle. But now it looks like we're double-top situation going on here, okay? So now she's selling off here. The problem is where is it going to go on all the way to bottom? The key is... Watch that daily chart, that 21-day and that 8 SMA, very, very key in that 50-day there on the old upside. Okay, I'll have more for you in depth here at Midday Trading. We'll review uh, natural gas and crude, and we'll see what's going on midday. Okay, thanks for watching.